Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of the series. In this part I will show you how data and actions are passed between view and view model in Calibre and Micro. Uh, according to MVVM, view should only be responsive for, responsible for displaying data and view model has the data we are displaying. So this connection of data and actions between view and view model is called the binding. To have some context of what Calibre and Micro actually does, uh, I will show you a couple of examples how binding works without any framework, then with a framework called Prism. It's very popular uh, framework. And finally with uh, Calibre and Micro. I already have examples prepared, so let's jump right into it. In all the examples, we will have a uh, one view model and one view. In view, we will have one button, and uh, we will bind the button's text and uh, the click action. This is the view model. Uh, I am showing, by the way, uh, the one without any framework. So, in the view model, we have a property button text and the property hello button clicked command. By standard in VPF, all actions are binded to a command. Yeah, each command must implement a I command interface, and uh, data is binded to uh, some basic type uh, property. For example, this is a, s a string. And in this line, you see the binding to buttons action. By default, the command for button is the buttons click. So as you see, without using any framework, we have to write a lot of code. We have to implement a new class that uh, implements a command interface. And it's not very convenient. So let's run and see if it works. Uh, when the button is clicked, it should uh, use this command as the action. And the execute uh, method should be called. So I have ran the application. Uh, we have um, one, the button click it and we get a message box saying that button clicked from no framework. Now let's look into the prism example. Uh, the view uh, looks the same. And if we open view model we see that we have uh, something called delegate command. Uh, this is a class that prism provides us. To this class constructor, we can pass a delegate. In this example, we pass hello button clicked method, and uh, we bind th this uh, uh, button's click action to this uh, hello button click command. It's of type delegate command, and this delegate command somewhere implements uh, the i command. So, you, while using Prism, we do not need to implement another class. We can just pass in the method from view model, and that uh, saves us a lot of code. We do not have this hello button click command that we needed to implement in no framework example. And finally, let's, let's look into the Calibre and Micro example. Uh, we also have one view model and one view. Just the naming is a little bit different. It's called shell view model and shell view. If we open shell view model, we see that we still have the uh, button text uh, property. However, we do not have any commands here. Uh, we have a 
methods called hello clicked. Oh, yeah, it's a mistake. From Caliburn. So what Caliburn's Caliburn allows us is to bind the uh, actions directly to methods and it handles the commands uh, itself. So if you open the view, you see the the content is still binded to button text property and then the uh, action is binded uh, using the name of the button so the button's primary purpose is to actually be clicked so it is binded uh, to the method hello clicked in view model if example this was a label uh, name hello label now if we have a property hello label in this case uh, Caliburn micro will bind to this labels content to the property not the click event or action that uh, it binded in this uh, buttons example that's because buttons primary purpose is to be clicked and label is to display some label that should be pretty clear so another thing I want to show you when talking about bindings is uh, for example if this hello label property has changed uh, we need to refresh the view uh, so we need to somehow not notify the view that this hello label property value has changed so uh, let's say for example change the hello label uh, that value in uh, when the button is clicked that we need to implement a setter, not only a getter. Okay. If we run the application now, we will see that if we click the hello button, the label is not updated. To do that, we need uh, to inherit from proper the change base this class is provided by Caliburn micro and then we need to call a method called notifier property change and we pass in the name of the property we run, we are, we run the application again and this time it should uh, update this label yep it works so this is one way to do it but it's the ugly way we can do it another way to do that we need to have a field behind this property And then we will use this uh, method uh, also from property change base called set. We pass in the hello label field uh, as a reference. We set the value. We can optionally provide the property name, but it's not needed if uh, it's inside the property setter. And now we can remove this line and the notification will be done in this set method by Caliburn 
So let's run the application and see if it works. Oh yeah, I forgot to set the default value for the hello label. So run it again. As you see, it still works fine. So to sum up, uh, Calibre and Micro uh, allows us to bind directly by name and we also don't need to worry about commands so our code becomes shorter and easier to read. In the next part I will discuss some more advanced uh, bindings that Calibre provides us. I will also add a link in the description to my website where you can find the source code for all these examples and you can play around yourself.